Question of the week number 25, and it's... Wait, 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 25. And our first question of the week of this year, 2017. 2017. Wow. Finally. Excuse me while I have my breakfast. It's, it's only February or whatever the fuck, but yeah. It's 1.40, you having breakfast? I woke up like an hour ago. They, they don't need to know that. Yeah. All right. Anyway, this read, read this. Anyway, this question. Speak up. By the time, by this, the time they see this shit, it's not gonna be one forty anymore. This question of the week goes something like this. It's from. Say it's from. It's from. His name is. That. His S. McNulty, McNulty one ninety seven on Instagram. Yeah. He goes, hey, about a year ago, my parents said they wanted to move away when they retired. I put the thought off till now. But it is getting close. They're leaving in two months. I don't want to go with them and start a new life at 19. What should I do? I never expected to live my own so soon. I barely make minimum wage. How did any of you guys do on your own? What are your thoughts on some things I should or could do? Yeah, well, first of all, I'm not even on my own yet. Like, you know, because the fucking economy sucks. This country's going to hell. Yeah. <laughs> but not to get too political. You, one of you should go first. Well, maybe you should go first because uh, you're eating right now. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't. I have to think about this because I'm a leech. I still love my parents. So, so you kind of picked the wrong people to ask because <laughs> we all live at home, and because um, well, we're all poor. Well, and I, I have a little fun called Jewish guilt. Uh, so it's okay. You can say that. <laughs> <laughs> um. So what should you do? Well. You know, I guess that's kind of a sticky situation because at one point, one, it's your parents that are moving away. I'm sure you're going to miss your parents. Two, you're going to have to, like, probably, there's going to be some points where you're probably going to go visit them. Um, and three, you have to get established on your own. So let's start with getting established on your own. Um, it is really hard to do that, I guess, in today's day and age, especially a minimum wage job, although it is a little bit higher, but... I mean, what does that really do? Because everything else is more expensive also. Um, you see how he's breaking things down? That's why he's a teacher. He's, he's smart. He thinks about these in steps. Instead of, like, because me, I would just attack the whole thing. He but. just said that we were the wrong people to ask. Yeah, but now he's, <laughs> yeah. Now he's attacking it in steps, and he's doing a good job. Well, I'm, so. the, I'm the wrong person to ask, but I'm going to think about it like I'm the right person <laughs> What I would do if I could. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, that's where you start, right? Guess establishing things on your own. So looking for... The, a I mean, if you're going to have, it, honestly, it, might, it sucks, but you might have to get more than one job, mm -hmm. right? You might have to work a little bit harder than you work right now. And that doesn't mean you're not working hard, but you're going to have to bust your ass. Um, and I guess, Wait, yeah. Well, do you, does, does this kid live in New York? I don't, I don't remember him saying where he lives. No, he, does, he doesn't say. It doesn't matter. No, because the whole country's fucked. We live in New York, and it's fucking hard to live in New York because it's expensive. Oh yeah, it's expensive. Yeah. Okay. But I don't. We don't. We're not really sure where you're from, but I'm sure it's not much easier. So right, it's, it's the whole. Right. It's the you whole country, to... really. Uh, and what you said about like you know maybe what would you say getting getting another job or yeah as many as you need to really another oh, job, what, what, even trying to get like a step up you know get like a better job better paying job that you work more hours or whatever job you have now see if you can get more hours yeah so. It's like, it could be seen as a lose-lose situation because like, all right, you're going to stay here, but like he said, you're going to have to bust your ass. Now, if you move uh, with your parents, now what the fuck do you do? You know what I mean? So it's your parents' decisions, uh, their, their, their decision to move. So, and given that they're your parents, and it doesn't matter how old you are, like times are tough all around and everywhere. You know, there's no shame in asking them to help you. You know, they're your parents. It's like, all right. That's uh, true. You know, that's true. I'm gonna come with you, sure, but look, sure. it's 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 hard on me. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to help me out and like you know, cut me some slack while while we make this move, because it's a big milestone, and uh, wherever they plan to move to, I wouldn't wait to the last minute to uh, uh, look up uh, and do your research uh, on that location to see if there's anybody hiring, any um you know, any job that any job that's open really uh. Don't wait till the last minute to do that. Uh, do that now, e even if you're you're undecided about what to do, just so you always have the options and like maybe, may maybe you can find a better job there. And who knows? Uh, maybe you'll actually be happier there. You, you don't know. And, and I'm not saying do it. I'm saying like it's it might not be the worst thing in the world. 
and so, but if you stay where you are now, uh, yeah, reach out to everybody you can, your best friends, your best friends, families, like, you know, as does anybody know any place hiring and, uh, you know, if you have to work two jobs, it's going to suck, but at least you won't have to move. I'm going to tell you something. Those are your choices. I'm going to tell you something that a lot of like mentors in your life probably don't tell you. People work well under pressure. They do. Like, you know, a lot of teachers and, and, you know, people at your jobs, they have, you have deadlines, you know, and they don't, they don't want you to wait till the last minute. And I'm not saying you should wait till the last minute, but when you have that pressure that you know that it's going to, you have to do it by this point, it makes, it, it motivates you to work better. And like, you know, like you said, you put it off for a while. So now you're kind of at that point where you have to do it and you don't really know if you want to leave, which I'm kind of with you there. Like, you know, I don't like change, especially like when you have to start a whole new life. Um, in a new place that you're not familiar with. So, but like Kenny said, you know, just exhaust every resource you have. Just, you know, ask everybody that you know if they know about any jobs or if they know anybody that can help you get a job. Or, you know, like you said, ask your job that you're at now if you can get more hours. Um, I had a friend, I had a friend, um, Kurt. Um, he, he, a couple of summers ago, he lived on his own in Staten Island. Um, his parents moved to Pennsylvania and he wanted to stay, um, and he stayed for the summer, and he he broke his ass. Like he he was working construction. He uh, had a place where you know it was just really just a, a bedroom and a bathroom, and he you know he was barely there because he was working all the time. But you know if you really want to stay here or wherever you are, um, you make it work. You like you know it's that's that's really what you're gonna have to do is just you know weigh all your options and see what's gonna work best for you and if you're gonna be happy doing that. Because as much as you want to stay here, are you really willing to put all that work in to just be on your own, you know? And it might be too much for you. And yeah. you might say to yourself, it's going to suck either way, but maybe I should have gone with your parents. And then, you know, you just move to where your parents are. Well, that's, yeah, see, that's, that, see, honestly, that's the best thing is that your parents are moving. And it's not like if you don't move with them, you can never move with them. Because they're your parents. They're always going to be like, hey, you can, you can come. You're not the but, only one struggling out there. Believe me. And you, and... In this day and age, and especially with, their, with the way our country's going, one actually has to live where they're going to make money, depending mm -hmm. on what they can do or what job they can. Uh, we, we already had friends, uh, not just not just Kurt, uh, who had to move away. Uh, because yeah. Plenty of friends. We gotta... you know, it's, it's still happening now, uh, where they, they have to move away to work a job somewhere else where they can afford to live. Right. And you know what? Like As much as it sucks that they're not here, and they'll say it repeatedly, that it sucks that they're not here and that they're not with us, they're doing well for themselves. Mm -hmm. They're doing well for themselves out there. We have friends in North Carolina, we have friends in Tennessee, we have friends in Pennsylvania. You know, people have to go where they're, where they're gonna do well. And like sometimes, you know, sometimes it's a good thing and you meet new people, but you're always gonna remember like where you came from and your old friends and you know, like when you get older, I'm sure you're gonna be able, I mean, not even when you get older, like, you know, whenever you can, like you'll be able to, see them but it's just not going to be as as you often know, it's or not as the same as, as like life. you know going hang yeah. out with your friend next door anymore because now you know he's here and you're wherever you are but we got social media and everything to yeah. help us social media it's, it's easier to keep contact with everybody you know yeah and you know all all that aside all advice aside like i just want to say good for you you know like even thinking about this and not just saying you know what i guess my parents are leaving i gotta go too you know, like, good for you actually like, oh, yeah. want to be, like, an independent person, make your own decisions. Because the truth is that, I mean, I'm I'm a little older than you, and if my parents packed up, I'd probably just go with them. You know, I'd probably, because, like, yeah, you know, change is hard, and yeah. it's harder when you're alone. So It's a scary thing living by yourself. So, yeah, good for you. So uh, there's, there's, there's no a, shame. There's no shame. Like, either way. Like, that's another thing. I forgot to mention that. Um... You can always, you don't have to live by yourself. Get a roommate. You can get roommates. You know, I'm sure if some of your friends want to, you know, move out or, you know, they are moved out, see if you have a friend that needs a roommate. Or People do this all the time. You know? All the time. It's, or like, they're, honestly, you know, like as much of, as much of as, as a problem or like a, an issue this is, there are so many different things that you can do. You just have to ch look at all your options and see what works best for you and, yeah, like pedal, 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 that's what we would out. do. It would suck. It would suck uh, if and when the day ever comes, you know, between, between the, us three. But like, you gotta do what you gotta do. And fortunately, this day and age in this society that we made for ourselves, it separates us, and fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? 
to say the least. You know what a fall house fails? Find yourself a sugar mama, you know? Sugar mama. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's always a good thing. Some girl that makes some money, you know? Yeah. I've been waiting for one of those. Find a trust fund girl. She doesn't, even, she doesn't even have to be good looking. Like, she can tolerate you. She has money. You know, it's like, well, it's, 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 it's it. If it's worth it to you. Yeah, you know what I mean? But make sure you knock her up. No? What? 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 <laughs> that was a joke. Don't do that. <laughs> You'll be screwed. You'll be worse. Yeah, if you're, if you're financially screwed now, yeah. <laughs> That's the part of the video where you ignore. Yeah, there's always one. Well, that was there's it. at least one. Well, it's usually, least it usually so. comes from him. But usually. Yeah. Usually. And then usually you like will take it a little bit far and then he'll be like, all right, don't listen yeah, to it me. Was like, it was like that video when we just kept saying Mom's Spaghetti. Right. Except Gus was here. Yeah. Gus was here. He's our friend from Tennessee. That shout out to Gus. The band. Uh, no, yeah, there you go. Uh, shout it happened. And it, it shout did out happen to us. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you for your question and the rest of you out there watching. Ask us shit like that. Yeah, ask yeah. us questions. This is a very good question. We Not really shit. Like that wasn't question. shit. That was good. No, this is a very good question. We like questions like this. Keep asking us questions like this. If you don't want to ask us questions like this, ask us other questions because we don't get anybody asking us questions at all. So, just fucking ask us questions. Yeah. Please. Help us keep our YouTube channel alive. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Bye.